What's up guys? Uh, we got a request for a very specific tutorial and that was how to properly apply your camera's rain jacket. So I guess it's not intuitive, so let's walk through it and uh, take it one step at a time. Uh, first thing you should know though is this is really meant for light rain, not for heavy rain. This is not what you want in hurricane coverage. Today, we're gonna to be seeing rain that will be hard at times, and then, it'll be, then it will be sprinkling at times. This will keep the rain off pretty well for light rain, but if it's driving rain with wind, you're gonna to wanna to use the Steve Onasorge wrap your, wrap your camera in a garbage bag and duct tape method. The first thing you're gonna to, you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your camera bag has this brass piece for the hot shoe mount of the camera. Then, with these zippers, there's three zippers on the case. There's one right here, one right here, and then one right here. You want one zipper at the very end, and then the two other zippers at the other end, the end with the little loop on it, not the hard part. Two zippers back here. Go ahead and drape the case over the camera like so. And then let me turn the camera around so you can see. Then you want to slide, then you want to slide this brass piece into the camera's hot shoe mount like so and lower this black plastic ring and get it real nice and tight on there. That way the cover doesn't come off. It's nice and tight on there. The top ring you can leave loose and then you can slide the cover back and forth a little bit. Once you got it in the right place, tighten it up with the top ring. Should look something like this. Then drape this part down over the back. Now with this part over the eyepiece like so, undo the zipper a little bit, bring the eyepiece around, and then zip it up nice and kind of snug there. Then with the zipper below it, just kind of zip it up till you get to about the tripod right here. Turn the camera around to the front. With the front facing zipper, do the same thing. Bring that all the way down to about the tripod. All right, now look at what we got going on over here at the top. This little space right here is to feed your shotgun mic through. So we got that. These Velcro straps right here go over the top of your lens hood, like so, get it nice and tight. This part right here goes over the internal microphone and then down on top of the Velcro. It's got Velcro on it, so it will stay in there. Now there's two little zippers right here. Zip them down. And we're just locking out more rain when we do that. Velcro bits right here. Get it nice and snug in there. And that ought to keep the water out. So like I said in my preamble, is this gonna keep all of the water out? No, but it's pretty sealed up this way. Water can still get in through the eyepiece. Water can still kind of creep up under the bottom here. Up at the front, it's not totally waterproof. It's not airtight. But as I give it a little 360 here, it's pretty sealed up. And the bag's loose enough so that you can still kind of get in here and manipulate your wireless pack. You can still kind of zoom in and out. You can still hit record. You can still do all the um, tripod pan and tilt functions because those are left open. So, like I said, it'll keep light rain out, but it's not going to keep out a monsoon. If you're dealing with heavy rain, get some garbage bags and do sort of the same thing, but then seal it up with duct tape. Leave a spot open for the lens leave a spot open 
for the rear viewfinder, the bottom of the trash bag, or as it would be, I guess, the top of the trash bag, the big open portion, let that go down. That way you can put your hands up under the bag and manipulate the camera if you want to. And that's your best option for heavy rain. So, hope that made sense and uh, be sure to put uh, these tips to use while you're out there covering rain on a day like today.